Hello YouTube and welcome to KSP Mod Spotlight. In today's episode we will be featuring yet another cool mod by the name of BoxSat by a forum user DustPenguin85. And what this awesome piece of work adding is exactly what you're seeing. Box satellites. So let's take a look at the parts, shall we? Okay. So let's review the parts from the box set. And unlike in my previous reviews where I'm doing that as a post commentary, I will be doing it more or less live because I think it's better to show them off directly. So first of all, in the pro pods, we have the 62 centimeter box frame. And this is exactly what it says. It's a box, as simple as that. The only difference between that one and the payload is in the amount of attachment points that you can see and compare here. So consider the first one, I was first thinking what was the difference between the box sat frame and the box sat payload frame. Well, it's definitely because in the payload you just put stuff in. Now, the third part is the box sat probe core module. And if you want to do some remote probe, you just need to put that one in. And it looks beautiful. I just love the modular design of the box set. It's awesome. Now, going into, I'm going to put two of these or maybe even three of these because I want to show off all the wonderful things that we can put in there. Now, if we go into the fuel tanks, then you will notice we have a 62 centimeter LFO, liquid fuel and oxidizer tank module. So we can chug that right in there. Then we have the monoprop. And I really love the way that these two show two fuel gauges while this one shows one. Then we have the xenon tank module if you want to use xenon engines. Then going on to the, to the engines, we have two engines. One is the 62 centimeter box set bipropellant engine. And let me just show you that one real quick. It's the bipropellant engine that is roughly um, going on liquid fuel and oxidizer. And with a full tank, it gives you around two and a half up to 3000 Delta V with 1.0.51 thrust to weight, which I think it's more than decent. The one gripe that I had with this engine though is that it didn't have the bottom attachment node, which is something that I actually added manually in the uh, in the parts config. But other than that, that would be my node to create it. Because if you want to put a static coupler or anything below, you just simply cannot do that. And that same is for the liquid fuel oxidizer as well as the monoprop. So let me just quickly show you the monoprop engine here. Same here, you get nice chunk of delta V uh, and a thrust to weight of 0 0.51. Okay, so much for the engines. Now let's go under the command and control. Now under the command and control we have the reaction wheels module which basically you put in so that you have some reaction wheel controls and then we have another RCS thruster block which has three axes. Why you would want to do that I have no idea but if you want you can. So let me just chug it over there. Sorry I cannot zoom in much more but anyway. It looks kind of cool anyway. Okay, uh, that being said, let us go to the structural tab. Now, the structural tab has either the hatch, which you close off, if, uh, for example, you put anything that you don't need to open later, or you have the blow-off hatch, which basically then, if you check it on, then you get a nice decoupler, which means that it, you are able to stage it mid-flight or somewhere in the flight and it will detach. Very nice, very convenient. Then you have the box set in empty value, which is basically that you, if you have just places, want places to fill, 
you can put this one in and it will basically mean it's nothing there. Then after that in the aerodynamics we don't have anything but in the utility we have the battery modules so if you want you can put in the battery and I just love the way how this uh, uh, how this highlights by the way some of those module will add stuff at the back not here but I think it's more tied to the science experiment but then again I'm rushing let's see uh, then we have the box set fixed solar panel which you can chug on the sides like this and those are fixed those will just be here for illumination purposes if you they provide roughly 39 per minute if you want a more powerful ones then you need to atta attach this ones and this ones are actually meant to be extended but once extended it cannot be retracted again. That's just a cool thing to note. Then we mentioned already the battery module and then we finally come to the experiments. Uh, speaking of experiments, you can then chug these guys. Then you have accelerometer module, barometer module, gravioli and the thermometer module so these are basically all your science experiments that you can and it if you look and closer they really add a cool bunch of instruments to the back panel of the box set i really love it it's amazing guys anyway uh let's just quickly check in terms of the antennas because it this mod also adds a couple of antennas for example one of them being this hinged hinged I guess dish that attaches and you can extend it and it looks beautiful then we have the Marconi monopole antenna which is basically the simplest antenna you can get. You just extend it and it pops up and that's it. And I believe there is one more piece to the story and this is crossed dipole antenna also from Marconi. So if you extend it, it extends something like this. And uh, that being said, we still haven't shown you how to use the other modules. So if you put like the hatch, for example, here at the bottom, uh, or can we put the hatch at the bottom? I hope so. Hmm. Interesting. What about this one? That part I can put. What about blow up hatch or hatch? Come on, attach, please. Yes. So, oh, okay, here you have to put it from the upper side. Okay, got it. Anyway, once you put it in, you can still put some of your experiments if you want, if you prefer in this way. That's also perfectly doable. Although, note that this is very small, so not all of your experiments will fit. And naturally you close up the panel and that's basically it. So these are pretty much the, the parts that you get. Now let me just briefly show you how do you assemble this guy. For example, assembling a small craft. Okay, so let us try and make this small box set. So, first we take the box frame, then we want to stick a probe core module in, then let's put in, let's make it small and useful, shall we? So, what do we want? We want some control wheels reaction wheels okay 
then we want some batteries let's see batteries 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 great let's put some solar panels two of them let's put a science experiment what do you say shall we put the, let's put the thermometer module okay and then let's close off the cargo hatch or box hatch but we're gonna put the blow off because we do want to decouple it and perform the experiments later now we also do want to be able to transmit that data back so let's put what's the range on this monopole packet size blah 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 doesn't say okay anyway let's just stick it around there and um, did we put in any probe core reaction wheels battery thermometer no no fuel or anything okay then let's put another small decoupler shall we Small decoupler, where are you? Here we go. And then let's put in the fairing. And as you can see, this guy is so small that basically, I mean, it, it would work without problem. So let's put like this and then just close the fairing that's it as small as this i think it will work beautifully let's call this box set okay box set exists all right yeah sure why not uh let's put then in some inline stabilizers some fuel tank do we have a fuel tank come on somewhere around here Put this one let's put the smallest engine that we can master I mean not the smallest but I don't know let's put this guy terrier okay and then let's put uh, some more stag decouplers Ch -ch -ch -ch. here we go and we're just making a small rocket that should be able to launch this bad boy into space now swivel i think that's enough and for our aerodynamics sake let's just put in here these four guys staging this one then this one and this one sure this stag decoupler followed by this i think our rocket is pretty much ready to go so let's launch it well and we are off and launching our small box set into the orbit standard launch a very small vessel i didn't want to put anything like you know huge and tedious i thought this would fit in well with the overall satellite's theme uh, in case you're wondering why must why does my game look like that i simple prefer to show you guys mods that are looking great and uh, I like my mod preview to look attractive so I have added a couple of mods like scatter, engine, lighting, real plume etc etc. Uh, if anybody's interested I will be happy put to post my mods list below but the main point of this is previewing the box set. But nobody told us that we couldn't look very nice while doing so. Okay, so launching into the orbit, going for the second stage, which is basically very, very small, but enough to put this guy into the orbit. Now, that being said, let us just briefly draw a maneuver node for the circularization burn. Okay, and uh, well, might as well, you know, ditch the fairing. 
let me just point the craft in the right direction and we have a burn-in coming pretty soon so as soon as we get into the orbit which we will we are out of the atmosphere so it's only now a matter of doing the orbital insertion burn and then we will be then we will be for sure um, in orbit and then I'll deco decouple the satellite and that should hopefully be it. Almost done with the burn and there we go. Stacking and let's extend the antenna. Ditch the front panel so that you can see how it works and guys that's pretty much it. Until the next episode, like if you like the video, hit subscribe for more KSP content that will be coming soon, and thank you very much for watching. This is Groundworks, signing off.